when Jesus is moving in your life, you may need to put some folk out to let Jesus work it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of y'all got some folk hanging around you right now in your posse that does not believe, cannot rejoice, cannot be happy for what God is doing in your life. God wants to work out whatever it is. What you need to do is put them out. That, that, that may be a little drastic for some of y'all, but the truth of it is, is that if you can't cut out, cut back. Somebody gonna get that on the way home. I, I'm trying to speak deliverance to somebody because there's those in our lives. It may be family, it may be friends, it may be associates, frat brothers. I don't know who it is that you leaning on and depending on, but they are blocking the move of God in your life. You might can't cut them all the way out, but you may need to cut them back. Oh, y'all know I'm talking to somebody. Somebody sitting here right now. Got folk around them that can't rejoice when God shows up and delivers and answers your prayer. Put them out. And maybe you got to go through something to get to that point to find out who's really for you. Who's really with you? Who's really excited about what God is doing? All oh, three years ago when I went through a major storm, it wasn't long before you found out, hallelujah. Oh, I'm just going to be transparent. A lot of folk that you done done everything for, when you were there for them, they show, oh, they run, they run. But ain't you glad to know that God is, hallelujah, God is a sustainer. God is a provider. And he'll raise up friends for you. Pastor West never wavered. You better learn to go with the goers. Oh, I'm trying to help somebody this morning because my three points are right there. That Jesus delays, Jesus is determined to see about you, and then guess what? He delivers. And your praise is in direct proportion to the amount of deliverance See, folk be introducing me, they use a resume. Well, you know, you never put on your resume bad stuff. You never tell why you left there and went here. You never tell what under the conditions were, why you were in Arkansas and why you came to Houston. But I just want some folk to be honest. When you see me praising God, praising him for what's on the resume I'm praising him for what's between the lines I'm praising him for all the goodnesses for all of his mercy for all of his faithfulness and I believe somebody here this morning oh God some praise for what's between the lines yeah does God, hallelujah, delay, not only does he determine to get to you, but he will deliver. I need to ask a question, ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Somebody owes him some praise. We're always taking smoke breaks and 